Okay, guys, so let's try this problem. This problem is very similar to the one we just did, um, the conservation of mass problem. Uh, of course, it's the exact same problem without including the mass of water. So we're going to assume we don't know what that is, and we're going to ask what's the mass of zinc 2 hydroxide, okay? And hopefully, um, I don't remember what the number we got from last time was, but when we compare them, they'll be the same uh, value, okay? And that will kind of prove to ourselves the law of conservation of mass a different way, okay? So how would we do this? So we've got the mass of zinc oxide, zinc 2 oxide, and we want to know the mass of zinc 2 hydroxide. So we look at the chemical equation here, um, and we see that there's a one to one ratio of zinc 2 oxide to zinc 2 hydroxide. Do you guys see that? One to one ratio. In fact, there's a one to one to one ratio of all of these chemicals, okay? Um, but we're not interested in water, so let's write a conversion factor that describes that, okay? That one to one ratio. So for every one mole of zinc 2 oxide, we've got, we get one mole of zinc 2 hydroxide. So remember, this chemical equation is just like an algebraic equation, as a matter of fact. Uh, and you can set these kind of things equal to each other. Okay? So the next thing we need to know is what's the formula weight of zinc oxide? Or what's the formula weight of zinc hydroxide? In fact, we've got to figure both of them out. Okay? Formula weight is calculated the same as molecular weight. Except that, of course, these are both um, ionic compounds and not covalent compounds. That's why you call it formula weight. So let's figure out the formula weight of zinc oxide. So, of course, there's one zinc and one oxygen. So it's going to be one times the atomic weight of zinc plus one times the atomic weight of oxygen. So one times anything is itself. So if we look up at the periodic table, we see that zinc's atomic weight is 65.39 AMU plus oxygen, 16.00 AMU. Okay, that makes sense, right? So let's just add these two together. Okay, when I do that, I get 81.39 AMU. Okay, that's the formula weight for zinc oxide. So remember, now we can say, we can set up a new expression that, uh, a conversion factor, right? So for every one mole of zinc oxide we got, that weighs 81.39 grams. Does that make sense about this expression that we got here? How we did that? Okay, so now let's figure out the formula weight, lastly, of zinc, zinc 2 hydroxide.
plus 2 times 1.008. And I got, hopefully this is right, 99.4.
four, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that should prove to you that you can do it both ways. If you've got both um, grant or both masses here, you can just add those together and get this mass. But if you don't have both masses, of course, you don't know what the mass of water is. So you got to do it this way that we did it. And you should get the same answer. It was the same answer, right? I don't re recall what it was. I guess I should know. So. Um,